What if I told you a car could run indefinitely? No gas, no charging, just pure energy from the air. Sounds impossible? Well, Zimbabwean inventor Maxwell Chikambozo says he's done it. Imagine never having to plug in your EV ever again. No range anxiety, no fuel cost, just unlimited driving. That's exactly what Chikimboso claims his self-powering car can do. But does the science actually hold up? Or is this just another overhyped promise? In this episode, we're breaking down what this so-called microsonic energy technology really is, how it works, and whether it has any shot at changing the future of transportation. I'm Chris, and I dig into the biggest claims in automotive tech. If there's a new breakthrough, I find out whether it's real or just a well-crafted illusion. Today, we're putting Maxwell Chicken Boats' bold invention under the microscope. Here's what we're going to cover. Who is Maxwell Chicken Boats? How does his self-powering technology work? Does the science add up? What does this mean for the future of EVs? Maxwell Chicken Boats didn't follow the traditional inventor's path. He dropped out of school at 14. With no formal training, he started building gadgets from scrap. By 2009, he shifted focus to green energy. That led to what he called the microsonic energy device, a system he says can harvest radio waves and convert them into electricity. Here's how he claims it works. The car is equipped with a microsonic energy device, MSED. This device supposedly captures ambient radio waves and converts them into usable power. That power continuously feeds the battery, allowing the car to run indefinitely without charging. The prototype developed in partnership with a Chinese automaker allegedly has a top speed of 220 kilometers per hour and can generate up to 15 kilowatt enough to power a home. But here's where things get tricky. The energy in the ambient radio waves is extremely low. Let's take a look at this. Believes that Zimbabweans are capable of spearheading game-changing first of innovations that challenge the world's traditional ways of doing things. President Wanagagwa said no one can take away that capability. He said this earlier today when Zimbabwean innovator and inventor Max Chukumbuzo paid a courtesy call showcasing his latest invention of the world's first soft powering vehicles and motorbikes that run just on radio waves. This is one of Chikambutu's groundbreaking innovations. He calls it a self-powering electric vehicle, powered entirely by radio waves. This is the first of its kind in the world. Today, Chikambutu paid a courtesy call on President Mnangagwa at the State House in Harare, where he presented his latest inventions. The president said such were testament that Zimbabweans were skilled enough to usher leading inventions logic. This is the only weapon that exists in the world. It is not in the world. It's the only weapon in the world that I gave. And it's so gifted. When he first came to you, uh, talk to me, and he talked to you, in the old wires. It's well connected. Chikombozo took the opportunity to explain and demonstrate how his latest invention works. So in this car, you can also use it to power your house. It is a movie generic. When you drive from work, we lift to your home to connect your power cable or your house. It, is, it gives you 15 kilowatts power over your house. And the vehicle itself just got 160 kilowatts electric motor, which gives you a top of about uh, 380, 320, 380 newton meters of, meters of top. That means it's, it's fast. Before he goes any further, current science says harvesting enough of it to power a car is nearly impossible. No independent verification exists to confirm this technology works as claimed, and some argue this could be the biggest energy breakthrough in history. Others say it's simply not possible based on known physics. Even Chicken Botso himself says he struggled to patent the tech because it challenges existing scientific principles. Let's finish up this video. President Mnangagwa revealed that he was personally supporting Chikumbutwa in his endeavors. The 44-year-old high school dropout was initially offered millions of dollars by the United States of America to stay and continue his work in the country, an offer he refused. 
The president praised Chikomozo's innovation, which included wireless self-powering drones and television sets, among other inventions. Yes, just the team. She might still get to get a And it happened. So, the inventor chronicled how himself and his colleague had been poisoned in the United States because their idea was challenging traditional ways of thinking. The, the laws of energy, they would be in thermodynamics, also the first law of energy. Children, I wonder. Well, yes, it in physics. Yes, yes. Even when we tried to uh, the agent, they said we are violating the natural laws of physics. So it's not an industrial applicable. We decided to take the trade secret short. Chikumbuzo says he has partnered a Chinese firm and is working on setting up a plant in Zimbabwe to manufacture and distribute the self powering electric vehicle. For the Tim Prime, I am Satoshi Sivagwaza. Uh, thanks to ZTM Prime for providing this short video. In the 1970s, Stanley Mayer claimed to have invented a water fuel cell that could power a car. He demonstrated a dune buggy that reportedly ran on water instead of gasoline. Mayer said his invention could break water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen through a highly efficient electrolysis process. The hydrogen would then fuel the car. He promised it could reduce dependence on oil and revolutionize transportation. But Mayer's invention never made it to market. Critics said his science didn't add up and lawsuits followed. A court eventually ruled that Mayer had committed fraud. He died suddenly in 1998, sparking conspiracy theories that his death wasn't an accident. Chicken Boltz said he got out nearly with his life and his partner died while staying in the United States. Sometimes conspiracy theories, sometimes they are not. If this technology works, it could redefine transportation forever. But without peer-reviewed proof, skepticism is justified. What do you think? Is this the next big breakthrough or just another too-good-to-be-true claim? Let's talk about it in the comments. Remember to grab a copy of my ebook, The Parts Manager Guide. The links are in the description box below. I will catch you in the next video.